G'day everyone. Okay, so I've made it back down. Digging in the same spot. I'll give you a, sh a little quick oh, look at what we're doing. So, over here is my original hole where I was digging in behind all this leaf litter. Cleared all the leaf litter off the top and kept going back. Peed it out. So I decided to move up to the next piece of root. You saw me take some test pans and get some gold out of here. And then all I've been doing is basically digging a trench, following the water flow, this little um, divot back. And I've been getting really good speck count. Right here is the last two shovels I just took. That was from the other day. So I've just been following that. If this peters out going back up into the water, and I'm going to follow that hole back down towards my other one and see what's in there. But just from two scoops, one, two from here, just panned it down and got a nice little shower colour. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, about twenty pieces easily. And today I'm only here for a few hours, so I'm just going to smash out as much as I can. I'm not even worrying with the snuffer bottle, just dumping concentrates straight into the bucket, and then we'll um, pan it out afterwards and yeah, see how much we end up with. Two more shovel scoops out of there, and that is almost a picker. Let's see. Well, not a picker, but I'll get it focus. Definitely jumps on the end of the finger when it's wet. Come on, focus. Got a little bit of girth to it. Ah, oh, nice. So that one and about another 15, 20 pieces. All up the top there. That guy round and still a little bit in the sand there. But worry about Oh there we go, that's a bit better. Yeah, all up the top there. I'm liking this little spot here, this little trench. Just that little trench in there, about a metre long, I'm working. Getting a good count out of it. And the spec count continues. Sweet. More down in here. But like I said, it's all going straight in the bucket. Process it, process it when we get back to camp. Uh, out of the same spot. Went down a little deeper. And another nice little run. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15. Plus what's probably still down in here. Another 20 odd pieces. <sighs> Alrighty guys. Started to peter out as I've come this way. So I've started heading back towards my other hole where I was getting the pickers. So we'll um, dig out this little trench down in here. See how we go. But first pan from changing direction. Oh, and another nice little count. Another 20 odd pieces. Happy with that. And I know there's still more down there. Lots of ironstone. Alrighty, change of plans again. <clears throat> so we came up here, petered out a little bit. So I thought, alright, I'll start heading back towards my picker hole. Same thing, got bugger all. So I came back to where I was getting a good count and decided to go into the gravel bar. So I took a scoop from there, scoop from there, and our spec count has jumped back up through the roof again. Oh, come on, focus. Focus. Why won't you focus? 
Oh, because I probably got crap all over my lens, hang on. Yeah, yeah. Focus, damn you. Let's focus on a rock, if I can. There we go, that's better. So back to the 15, 20 piece count. Sweet. <clears throat> okay guys, just following the spec count. I started chopping back into this gravel bar. My spec count died down. I think I got five or six specks in the pan. So I thought, all right, let's go the other way. And I started coming back into the bank in behind these two bits of grass here. And I just took one scoop from there, one scoop from there and scraped the surface clay. Close to one of my best pans yet. No pickers, but lots and lots of specks, flakes. Probably 30 in there. Happy with that. All right, time to do a clean up. Got my pan. I've also got some um, mouse mesh or snake wire, whatever you want to call it. I think it's six mil by six mil. So, got our bucket of goodies. I've given a good shake up, got it all nice and loose. Gonna classify again through this screen. Yeah. No, nothing on there. All right, I'll pan it down and see how we went. Back soon. All right, I made it back out for another day. I wasn't gonna film, I was just gonna do another bucket and then show that extra day in the wrap up. But I um, had to race back to the car, grab the camera to show you this. I'm still digging out that trench beside my bucket. Just been panning up in this deeper hole here. But after this pan number five, two nice pickers. Oh, let's see. Oh, probably not gonna focus. Come on, there we go. One nice flake. And nice chunky bit. And then there's a heap of small pieces in there as well. No, happy with that. That piece is nice as well. Alrighty guys, still in the same spot. Lost count of how many pans I'm up to. Same thing, just been panning back, seeing what we get and then dumping it in the bucket. Got a nice little spec count up the top there. And then, surprise, and the reason I turned the camera on, I went to move this bit of ironstone. And this bit of ironstone is actually covered in gold. Get it to roll the right way for you. There we go. Ha! Dropped him. Okay, clean up time. Got our bucket of cons. Clean bucket water to um, pan into and snake mesh, six by six mil to classify down again into the pan. So I'll um, transfer that over. We'll get it in the pan, get some clean water on it, and I'll show you how we've done. Alrighty, empty bucket, screened it down. Unfortunately, no pickers, no more specimens, but we would have seen them when we were panning this material anyway, so got it all cleaned up. All I've done is just rinse a bit of the dirt and clay, well, just the clay. Well, more gold up in the back corner. Stop. Bring it back. And I'm just gonna repeat that process. The minute I see gold, stop, bring it all back. Rinse, rinse, repeat. 
So I'll turn you off for now. Nice little row of colour. And a few of our pickers are in there. And there's probably more still down in amongst all this ironstone. It is really, really hard to pan. It took me ages just to get all that separated. Oh, and I've got some floaters. Alrighty, all done. Time to do the clean up. See how we went. Oh, it looks pretty good already. Not too shabby. No, not too bad at all. Alright, I can't do this one handed. No, happy with that. Nice bit of gold. Alright, I'll get it cleaned up. And then we'll um, pull out the scales. We'll do our specimen first. So we're all teared out. Yep, in grams. Zero point one seven. And the gold. And this is combined what we just cleaned up plus what you saw in the picture from the first day. Alright, let's see how I go one handed. Hopefully I can do this. Oh, I really need a tripod. Alright, you guys watch the scales. I'll watch the gold. Point four, and I've got some stuck down the bottom. Hold that thought. There's more coming. Oh, shiny. There's our picker. What are we at? Point three eight. Point four two. Can we get half? Oh, not without giving it a shake. Oh. There's some stuck right up in the corner. Bear with me folks, hold on. Hold on, there's gold at the end, I promise. It's still there. Okay. How much did I lose? I thought I saw one piece go over in the carpet. Yes, there it is. Good thing I got tweezers. Alright, how did we do? Oh, 0.44. I was hoping for half a gram. Oh, we got another runaway. Tweezers before I lose him in the matting. Alright, let's throw our specimen in there as well. So with our specimen, 0.62. Sweet, happy with that. Alright guys, well I wasn't going to film today. I was meant to be detecting with um, a mate, but unfortunately he couldn't make it. So I've gone back to my um, 
Dan Bray's Creek where I've been getting my pickers. Got one just before. I thought oh, yeah, I'll do a couple more pans, see if I get lucky, see if there's any more. And um, then I'll make a move. Well, I'm glad I decided to stay. Because that there is a bona fide mini nugget. Let me see if I can grab it out. Oh, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Lost it. There it is. Got him. And get it to focus. Nice, reefy, chunky little piece of gold. The other piece I got was just a picker. You could just pick it up. More large flake. But that is definitely a little nugget. Alright guys, time for another clean up. Today was a bit of an unexpected surprise. Went into Jurakai. Was planning on meeting up with a mate to do some detecting, but unfortunately couldn't make it. So I decided to go back to my Dan Brace Creek, where I've been getting those pickers. And I'm glad I did, because we ended up getting that little nugget, which should be in here. Along with a bit, another nice flake. And the smaller stuff that was hiding in between. Yeah, nice. Give it a tap. to clean it up with two hands but there we go one very coarse chunky little nugget and there's the other picker the smoother one beside it very nice